Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Southern Copper Chronicles. I'm Aaron. Uh, on this episode, we're going. I'm going to show you guys how to do an iodine starch conversion test. Not necessarily something that's, you know, 100% required. But if you're making an all grain mash, uh, or you're in a beer brewing world, uh, you, you want to make sure that you tap into all the, the, the starches that you're converting into sugars. The reason to leave any starch on the table, uh, well, leave any sugar on the table in the form of unconverted starch. <clears throat> now, uh, it, this, is, this is really simple. A lot of people make this more complicated than it should be. All you're going to need is some iodine. I rated this from uh, the medicine cabinet because I was out. Any, any of the iodine from Walmart. You don't need to buy anything specific, nothing high dollar. Just go get some iodine from Walmart. Uh, now with this, it is a very, very, very dark color. This is still really dark, but I've actually put 10 parts of one, water to one part iodine. So I only had about this much iodine added water to the rest. It's going to let you see your conversion uh, a little bit easier. Um, also, definitely want to get some white bolts because you want to be able to see, see, uh, see the colors in here. Don't use any dark color bolts. You're not going to be able to tell what's going on. And one other safety note, don't try and do your conversion in your pot when you're making your uh, mash. Obviously, iodine isn't really something you want to drink. Uh, you don't want it in your products. You want to throw some horrible flavors. Uh, so all you need is just a, the tiniest amount of, of uh, you know, a test uh, product. Just, just, just about a teaspoon to check and see where you're at. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is what happens... When you add iodine, all right, when you add iodine to a starch. Now in this bowl, I've got nothing but simple flour. Just, I think it's a uh, white lily, white lily flour. So it's a, pretty much 100% starch. So we're just gonna add a few drops here. All right, now I want you guys to see this. You see this horrible, nasty black color? In the presence of starch, iodine turns this crazy ink black. That lets me know there's a whole lot of starch. Obviously this was a flower, so it's a pretty much 100% starch. Now for a baseline, so you guys can see, this is Dixie Crystal's table sugar. And you see the iodine's a little bit lighter color than it was uh, coming straight out of the bottle. If I do this, uh huh. Notice the color. It's staying the color of the iodine. Y'all see the difference here? This is kind of what you're aiming for. It can be very hard to get it this, you know, the, the iodine stay this color during a conversion. This is definitely what we don't want. Now, this is just a little bit of the corn that we're gelling right now for our all grain. It's only been going for just a couple minutes. So you can see it already turning. See that? That corn, that bloody butcher we're using, that we're just doing our gel on, turns just, just a nasty, nasty black. All right, guys. I know we already did our, our three test uh, <coughs> test samples for our iodine conversion with our sugar, our flour, um, and this all grain that we were doing uh, that had just started. You guys saw how it turned all purple? So I'm gonna put this in here. I wanna stir this around. I wanna show you guys what an all grain conversion should, should look like with the starch. All right, so now notice the difference between what it looked like, you know, two hours ago. See, there's no black in there. So if you get this color, that means you've got a good conversion uh, from starch to sugar on your all grain. So that's just a really quick, easy video on, uh, on what an iodine test is. All it simply does is tell you if you have starch left in your mash. Um, if you're adding sugar if you're not doing an all grain mash or doing a conversion 
um, you know, not a, not a big deal. If you are doing all grain, three or four bucks for a bottle of iodine. And as you do your conversion on your all grain mash, it's simply going to let you know if you have more sugar available to convert uh, or if you've wiped out all the starches and converted all the starches into sugar. So, you know, too easy. Takes a couple seconds literally to do. And it's going to, you know, really up your game uh, if you're doing any kind of an all grain type of mash. <clears throat> if you guys like this video, uh, you know, please like and subscribe to the channel so I can make more like this. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, you know, leave them here or on my Facebook page at Southern Copper Chronicles. Be happy to, to go over more, answer any other questions, uh, any other videos you guys would like me to do, just let me know. I appreciate y'all watching.